If you're anything like me, then you probably have some experience with some pretty shoddy password creation. I mean, I'm not going to go into any details of fear of having my Discord identity stolen, but the fact remains we're probably all guilty of some pretty bad security practices. Good thing then that we have dedicated security analysts who work right here in this building, and today I'm going to talk to Benjamin Perry about how you can keep your digital valuables safe, whether that be your hard-earned dollars or those selfies that you want to remain private. Passwords, right, so best practice is firstly not to use the same password for multiple accounts. Uh, that's a big no-no, right? Um, uh, but secondly, in terms of like creating passwords, I prefer to uh, like think of a sentence, right? So a sentence that you uh, would remember. So I have a sentence in my head and I use the first letter of every word um, as part of the password. And then I change some of those to numbers and that kind of stuff. So it's not just like uh, password one, two, three. Obviously that's not a good one. Instead of just one word, you should be doing it as a sentence. So it's like, uh, I will not forget this password. And then you use that first letter of each one. Because they're harder to guess. Complicated passwords are harder to guess for attackers, basically. And they also have things called like dictionaries, like a dictionary attack, where they basically have a big list of words that they like brute, try and brute force your uh, account with. Um, and they have like common words like password or let me in, that kind of stuff. So if your uh, password is one of those, there's a higher chance that you'll get compromised in that way. Facebook, for example, right? You should always have your uh, profile as private as possible. You shouldn't have it just completely open. You should have it as restricted as possible so only like your friends can see what's on your Facebook account so that all that personal information is restricted to people that you know and not just anyone who searches your name online. Well firstly saving or writing your password down on a post-it note is a big no because anyone can see it right anyone can see that password they can walk past your desk see the password and just log into your account easy. Um, so if you want to save your password in an alternative way, um, you should be using programs like KeePass or LastPass, which is basically a password manager. It's an encrypted password manager. Um, and the great thing about them is you can save 100 passwords all in one program. Um, and it will also help you generate really complicated passwords. So it will give you like a 20 digit password, which is just completely random jumbled up letters, uh, but it will save it for you so you don't have to remember it. So then you can just use that program just to put that in uh, into whatever it may be, your Facebook, your bank account, or whatever it is. So, I mean, if you just search online uh, for password, uh, password managers, there's so many out there, uh, both apps and uh, desktop programs as well. Um, there's tons of different ways to save uh, passwords like that, but a password manager is pretty much a must for good security practice. I use uh, KeepUs. So the first thing I would do is straight away change your password. Uh, change the password on those accounts uh, if you've been, if there's a large scale data breach and you're worried that your account's been breached, change your password straight away. And then if you're using that password for other accounts, which you shouldn't be, um, but if you do, just because people do do that, uh, change that password on the other accounts that you also use that password on. Because if they, uh, if they breach that particular uh, company and they find your password, they can then try that password on multiple accounts of that same address and then chances are if you're using that password again, it would work on those ones as well. So you should always change all of those passwords. It's a difficult one because most browsers have got encrypted password savers. Uh, I personally don't do that just because I don't think this, it's necessary. If you're using a, a key pass, uh, uh, password manager, then that's doing your job for you. You don't need to save it in a browser because you've got a completely separate program to do that for you, right? Um, I personally don't, but then I don't think it's necessarily bad to do. Uh, well, it depends. It depends on the machine as well. If it's your own local machine at home where no one else logs in, no one else touches it, sure, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier. But if it's a public machine or it's something that's in an office, probably not advised to do. With, in terms of the security questions that you get, that you set up, they're always good to set up, uh, but I always try and pick the most obscure one. So like, what was the first album you bought? Or something like that, something that's really obscure that only you would know. Stuff that you can't find by searching your, uh, that person online. So yeah, like mother's maiden name or brother's name or something like that, or first car. Because um, they're quite easily found by a social engineer online. Um, so it's multiple, so 2FA or multiple factor authentication or two-step authentication, they're all really good because it creates another layer for you to log into your account to. So it's, so that a good practice on multi-factor authentication is something that you know, so your password, 
something that you have, which is like a token or like an external card, or something that you are, so a biometric, so your, your eyes, your face, your fingerprint, like uh, on iPhones and stuff like that. It gives you extra layers of security there, which makes it so much more secure. It, sometimes it's good to consider using multiple email addresses for different types of accounts. So having like a social media email address and then an email address for your banking. So that means that it, they're completely separate. Um, so I, I personally have like a spam email account. So when I go to sign up to like a, a random website that I'm only going to use once, I use that spam email address so that all my spam goes to that email address. Then I have a professional email address where all my work stuff goes to. And then I also have my banking email address. So there are three separate accounts uh, for different areas of your life. It segregates your accounts, so if someone compromises your social account, social media accounts, then they can't access your, uh, your banking accounts because they're completely separate email addresses. And online, they're just not linked at all. There's no linkage there. One of the things you can do to make your Uplay account a little bit more robust is verify your email address that you have associated with that account. If you haven't already done this, you may see a banner in the client when you log in. Alternatively, you can go into your account information and check to see what your status is on verification and do it from there if you need to. This will help us on the Ubisoft side, especially with our support teams, with any communications you have with us regarding your account. For those of you wanting that extra layer of security, we do have available two-factor authentication for your Ubisoft account. I mean, if you want that extra peace of mind that no one's going to jump on your Division account and start deleting your fully optimized character, then two-factor authentication is definitely for you. So Gabe actually wrote a guide about how to set up two-factor authentication on your account and if you find the sticky post on the forums, and we'll leave a link in the description below, you'll have your account sorted in no time at all. We're also of course still running the giveaway for the Samsung SSD, so hit the video up there to find out how you can enter that. If you'd also like to see our videos as soon as they go live, make sure you hit that notifications button so you don't miss a thing. Okay, that's going to be all for today. Please stay safe online and don't, don't use password123, please. Thank you.